Howdy y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, I know you haven't seen me in a while, and um, it's because I was just, you know, having some stuff going on, and I guess I didn't have time to film stuff. So, yeah, today we're going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. Oh, that was a lot. Did you see that? And um, I'm going to tell you what I've been up to and also talk about a little bit of other things if we get to it. I'm not going to mention the things because we might not get to it, but, you know, I'm going to do my best right here. Um, as you can see, I have already done my eyeshadow. I'm going to do a red lip today, so I wanted to do very subtle eyeshadow. I have already, uh, obviously primed, well, I'm priming my face right now, but I moisturized already and I, um, uh, primed and did my eyeshadow on the top and then I put on top mascara, but yeah. So I guess the reason I haven't been doing filming is because I was just finishing up my spring semester of my junior year in college and it was just really stressful like I had all finals and it was just like super overwhelming and I should have wet my sponge sorry I'm back with a wet sponge so anyway I was like really stressed about that and I was also having like a little bit of you know depression and I I think a lot of that um, stemmed from not, well, so I had this job lined up for the summer because I have one more year of school, so I, need, I needed a job between now and then, and I'm using the super stay. Um, and then literally a week before I was supposed to start, so I was supposed to technically start today, um, so this was a week ago, I found out that they um, changed their mind, and they did not want to hire an intern over the summer at this place I was going to work at, and so I just thought that was really crappy of them, and, like, really unprofessional to literally tell me I had the job and all this stuff, um, and then back out on me last second like that, like, I thought that was pretty brutal, um, and so that, like, caused a lot of sadness I guess like I just didn't know what I was gonna do and that came right before I was about to have all of my finals um and I'm a try hard in school so you know at the point at that point I was like I'm just gonna put all my energy into these finals and try to do the best I can do um and see what I can come up with so yeah that's what I did oh that looks kind of orange. Don't worry, I'll put powder and stuff on it. It'll help it out. But, um, yeah, so that was pretty depressing. And, um, hmm. So then I was like, well, I need to figure out another job I'm going to do, um, in place of that. Because normally I lifeguard over the summer, but I'm like getting old, you know, and about to graduate and I need to get a real person job not a teenager job, and so I applied at this other place that's, like, relevant to my career, and they just so happened to have an opening, um, and so I was, like, oh my gosh, I got so lucky, and they, you know, I, like, knew someone who knew the owners, so I was, like, uh, kind of had them call in a favor for me so that I had a better chance of getting this job. And so anyway, they called in a favor and I got an interview. And at the interview, so this job is like relevant to my career. And at the interview, they said, um, you know, during this job, you're going to have to lift up 50 pound bags like regularly or whatever. And I was just like, basically this, Basically saying since I was female, I couldn't do it. And yeah, I know that I'm not the strongest person ever, but like I can make things work. That's really not the majority of the job. The majority of the job has nothing to do with lifting weight. But like every once in a while, I would have to lift a bag. And like, I'm a pretty smart girl. I'm pretty creative. Like I could have figured out a way 
to lift the bag. I mean, like, there's a lot of ways to get around it, but, like, using a dolly or splitting up the bag into two pieces and pouring it into a bucket, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that hard to get around. And so I just, like, kind of told them um, that I was not going to shy away from lifting weight, you know? Like, I'm not scared of it. I just... It obviously isn't going to be as easy for me as a big dude, but, like, whatever. So, yeah, that was pretty discouraging. They told me that they would, they were having, they were interviewing a bunch of other people, and by a bunch, I don't know what they meant, but they told me they for sure had, like, three other interviews lined up, and um, I was like, okay, you know, and they're like, well, I'll let you know in two weeks what, what our decision is. So now I have two weeks to just chill and wait on their decision. And if they say no, um, then basically after that, it's like my only option is really to lifeguard again because it's like summer's already started and no one is going to be hiring for um, like a relevant position to my career. So that was just really stressful. But anyway, I'm kind of getting over that now. And then another thing that was like holding me back is... So, my very first YouTube video ever was, um, I'm not, like, saying you should go watch it. I honestly, like, don't watch it because it's only relevant for a certain type, like, for a certain, like, if you need to know that type of information. And it's not, like, anything to do with makeup, so it's, like, not relevant to everyone, you know. And, um, it was my first video ever, and I was filming on my phone, and I had no idea like, you know, obviously, like, everyone's bad at their first video, and I was, like, trying to look at the, like, camera, like, I was trying to make sure to make eye contact by, like, looking at this hole in the, like, camera, and so it was just really awkward for me, and I just did a terrible job. I was, like, you know, I'm not mad at myself over, it's kind of hard to do this with it, but, um, I'm not mad at myself over it or anything, like, whatever, and so I just basically was nervous and um, didn't do, like, the best speaking job ever. I lost my little towel that I was wiping stuff on. Hold on. I'll be right back. So basically this video that I was filming was about um, a company that I worked for temporarily. And um, I just was trying to, like, warn other uh, people about the job, you know. Uh, and it's like they target, you know, college students. So it would be like very like specifically relevant to people. And um, anyway, so that's not even the point. Like the point is people who work for the company were either told to or were just on their own going and being rude to me basically one of them said something like you have no personality because this was a sales position and they said you have per no personality you couldn't sell water to a man dying of thirst and then I just thought that was sad and then another another person said um just just nasty things you know and someone else said you look like you smell bad and I honestly, that didn't even bother me because I thought it was funny, like, because that's obviously, like, just you're reaching, you're grasping for straws at that point. Um, so I just, that really kind of annoyed me for a while. And the, the smell thing didn't bother me because I was just, like, one comment or whatever. But, you know, I made that video and I had no idea that it would get that many views. And I was just doing it because I wanted to rant and I wanted to tell people... Um, just warn people that were thinking about it because when I was looking into the job there wasn't any other information like that available and since then that company has told other like workers um, that they have like to make similar videos but instead of like critiquing the company praising the company and so I just thought that was really funny and whatever okay so enough about that no one probably cares about that Hmm, so, this, uh, James Charles drama has been pretty interesting, don't you think? Um, I know it's, like, been very overstated, but I just think it's been 
I know this is bad, but, like, I've been taught, I, like, honestly really like Tati for the most part, and, um, I, whenever I was going through that really rough time last summer, see, last summer is when I really got into makeup, and I've told y'all that before, like, I was pretty depressed, and this really helped me get through it, and, um, Tati's the one who I would, like, credit with most of, like, me doing what I, the way I do makeup, you know, and, um, so, I don't know, I really like her as a person, and I think she's pretty genuine for the most part, I mean, as genuine as you can be when you have millions of subscribers, um, and it's your job to entertain people, but, um, yeah, so, I really like her, and that's the tea, and I think that James, like, I, I follow James, too. Um, but I could see that he's just, like, pretty immature. And um, definitely I can see a lot of points where um, she's coming from as far as, like, the... Um, even, like, the predatory accusations and stuff like that. And I, I mean, I think that is accurate to an extent. Um... But the only thing that, the only reason that I have any, like, issue with it is because, not because of Tati, but because no one, I mean, this predatory behavior was honestly just obvious before Tati labeled it. Um, you could see it in, like, all kinds of videos, and, like, it was just, he wasn't shy about it. I mean, he is very vocal on his um, Instagram and his YouTube about, like, these things that he says about guys. Um, and so the main issue I have with the whole situation is not that Tati brought it up, um, but that... Because, see, the thing is, I don't think Tati would have brought this up had he not done this ad with Sugar Bear Hair, which is, like, her competitor um and I think that's really like the straw that broke the camel's back which you know that's completely fine I like I would be pretty upset too if I were her um not getting onto her for that but um the fact that people have gone on this like massive like cancellation culture of like oh he's over he's a predator blah 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 it's like yeah yeah I'm all for that whatever like he, he's made his mistakes and he deserves to get a little bit of backlash for that. But at the same time, all of these behaviors were obvious. And the only difference between this week and last week or two weeks ago is that Tati labeled it. And, which is fine, but people who f are feeling so strongly about him being a predator and him, like you know, manipulating straight guys or whatever is just kind of crazy to me because, like, if you were really, like, someone who kept up with him much and kept up with mostly just him, like, you would see this. It's obvious. Like, all these characteristics are obvious. And no one really cared before. But now that someone's labeled it and now that it's becoming, like, this big internet thing people are finally, like, caring. And I think that that's just something that goes with um, a lot of people. Like, they don't care until everyone else cares. And that's just, like, something that's kind of gone on throughout history is no one sees the problem, really, until someone makes this big ordeal to point it out. And so I just thought that was, like, an interesting take on it. And what do y'all think about that whole drama? Like, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of him, but I mean, I like watch, I watch his videos and I would definitely watch her videos. I like her old videos a lot more than her newer videos because, um, I really like the tutorial type of videos, but I still watch some of her, I watch about half, I would say about half of her newer ones. But I think since now she's at, like, she's gone up almost 4 million subscribers, she's going to have to, uh, I shouldn't have done that. I regret doing that. I'm going to have to take that off. Um, 
she's gonna have to step up her content, to be honest, because I don't think people are wanting to follow her for her content, because in all honesty, like, her content's kind of boring for, for, like, the average viewer who doesn't care that much about makeup, and so, because James' audience is not the same type of people who would want to watch her, and so she's going to have to do something different with her content in order to keep all these new subscribers happy. So that'll be interesting. And I notice, like, you know, she usually uploads... Oh, this is the first time I'm ever using this. This is my new bronzer. Um, she normally up uploads Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And on Monday, she tweeted out that she just, like, wasn't ready to um, film a video because she was still hurt or whatever. Which... It's probably a good move because she needs to let this drama die down a little bit. And I think she handled it really well. Don't get me wrong, but. Hmm. I like it. Do y'all like it? This uh, bronzer. It's the first time I've used it. Ooh. This is the Too Faced in the Shade bronzer. It's like the medium shade. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, Yeah. I just think she's going to have to, like, switch up her content, honestly, to keep these people happy because they're wanting the drama. They don't really care about her reviewing some $200 skin mask. You know what I mean? So, like, that's going to have to change. And so I guess I'll be done with that drama. You know, that's the main thing I wanted to bring up that no, I feel like I haven't seen anyone, or I guess I haven't, because I've been watching, like, even been watching the drama channels about it, because it's, like, interesting to me, because I think Tati is, like, someone who's important to me, and, um, I haven't noticed that anyone say, like, that all this behavior was obvious, like, all of this behavior, even before people were coming out on Twitter, and people are coming out and saying, like, that he did this stuff, like, you could see it in the videos. You could see the uncomfortableness of, like, the people who are around him. And no one, no one, like, like, I'm sure, like, every once in a while people would be like, hey, like, this is making this guy really uncomfortable. But no one, like, did this massive unfollowing. No one, you know, but that, Tati's video is what sparked all of that. So, got my little chin strap moment there. But anyway... So, moving on. I don't know if y'all watch The Bachelor, but I do. And I've been watching it for a very long time. And, um, so Hannah's season, which is, like, the new girl, if you don't watch it, basically, she's the bachelorette, and there's, she's, like, there's, like, 30 guys who are trying to win her heart, and they are looking for love. And then, at the end, um, one person ends up um, proposing to her. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to look at this other mirror because my phone thing isn't good enough for this. Um, and so that's the tea on that, but anyway, so I just want to see who are y'all liking this season. I think Luke, the dude who did the beast thing that he, she met him at the final rose, like after the final rose or whatever, and she, she's the, he's the one that she gave the first impression rose to. And I think she's, like, into him physically because, I mean, he's a good-looking guy and he's pretty macho, but, um, yeah. So, anyway, I think that he's gonna go far, and I think that he, I was watching the, uh, these other girls, um, Wit and Rye, they always do, like, a review type thing on, over The Bachelor, and they described him as cross, CrossFit Jesus, and I just thought that was hilarious because um, I knew this guy in high school that was literally, like, the same type of guy, CrossFit, and, like, super, super into churchy stuff. And he was, like, like all the, he was really good looking, and all the girls liked him. And, um, but he, he was literally, like, president of Partners in Christ and all of this stuff. But he was, like, kind of a hoe. Which, you know, I'm not against. You know, you do you. But I just thought it was, like, pretty ironic. And then just the way that they described him, like, it reminded me of that. And I thought it was funny. I can't find my little, um, eyebrow brush. Like, for sculpting him out. 
Hold on, I'm going to stop this while Okay, so I find the eyebrow brush. But anyway, I just thought that was really funny. And if you notice, like, in the promo, his, like, they showed him, like, reading his Bible or whatever. Which is great, you know. You do you. But he had, like, he was claiming to be this, like, super, had this religious awakening or whatever after college. And he had zero markings in his, um, Bible. Like, not even a highlight of, like, verses. And I just think, like, a lot of people, like, I don't, that's gotta be staged because, or either that or that wasn't his Bible, the one they showed in the promo. And, like, why wouldn't you use your Bible in the promo? So I just thought that was so funny that, like, that happened. And, anyway, this just, like, brought back memories. But, anyway, my favorite guy so far is Pilot Pete. And, you know, obviously, I think they're painting a really good impression of him. I think based on the way that they're kind of, like, presenting all of the guys, I think Pilot Pete is going to go far. And I think that Jed, the country singer dude, is probably going to go far as well. Um, they haven't shown, like, a whole lot of the other guys yet. But that's just kind of my prediction so far. So, anyway. But I have a feeling that I'm going to be Team Pilot Pete. And um, I think Hannah and I, out of all the Bachelorettes they've ever had, Hannah and I are the most similar. So, it gives me hope knowing that, like... Because I'm a little kooky. I mean, if you actually watch my channel, you'll see that... I have been known to do some weird things, and um, I think she is too, and so that gives me a little bit of hope, thinking like, ooh, these guys are attracted to her even though she's kind of weird, and I'm kind of weird too, so yeah, now I'm like on the home stretch, I don't really know how long this video is. I'm going to see how long this recording is, and then I'm going to reevaluate how much more of this process I'm going to show you. So, upon reevaluation, I decided this, this video is already long enough, and I hope you enjoyed my thoughts about the various drama, my personal drama, James Charles drama, Bachelorette drama. But anyway, I was really feeling a red lip today, so. I'm actually going to be filming a crap ton of videos today, so enjoy seeing this look a lot. Love you. Oh, she thought I was calling her to kiss her. She says, oh, mommy, I want your kisses. Oh, I love you. Okay, bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.